Hi everyone. After my last video, there were a few complaints from parents at the school. Uh, they were complaining that I recorded it inside. Apparently they thought the videos were better when I was outside freezing my nut at a bus stop. So here I am on the street for the next one. I thought I would quickly speak about the social implications of this Langley Park feeder schools idea because it's something that loads of people have mentioned. It's also an area where the policy clearly strays into a zone that is against the school admissions code. Now, a tangible measurement, a uh, measurable indicator of social deprivation or the relative affluence in a community is to look at the percentage of children receiving free school meals. It's a useful statistic for this case because there's a figure linked to every school in the area. So for Langley boys, it's 9.1% and for Langley girls, it's 11.5%. For the two established primary schools in the Trust, it's 5.9% for Hawesdown and 4.3% for Clare House. But for the schools not in the Trust, those figures are higher. It's 6.1% for Highfields, 9.9% for Pickhurst, 9.8% for Oak Lodge, Marion Vine is 10%. Unicorn is lower, it's only 4.7% and Langley Park Primary, which is in the Trust, it's a new school with a wide catchment area and its figure is in the middle, it's 7.1%. That will probably drop if the catchment area shrinks in the coming years. But what's clear from all the figures is that the policy will prioritise people from the affluent areas of the borough and add another difficulty to families who are already at a social disadvantage. Now, a lot of people I speak to say that this is deliberate. The schools don't want the poorer pupils and this policy is designed to push them out. That seems unlikely to me, but then I don't have to routinely battle discrimination, uh, so maybe I'm not the best person to ask. But whether it's deliberate or not is neither here nor there, because either way, excluding the non-trust schools will increase social segregation, and it's the poorer families who will suffer. We in the community should resist this, and frankly, the Langley Park Learning Trust should be leading that resistance, not adding to the problem. It's getting really cold now, so I'm gonna stop. The consultation closes on the 24th of January, so please respond and mention the social implications when you do. Thanks for listening.